Well, Wake Up Central helps you wake up smarter, and it is time to connect the dots on the Super Bowl. So this year, advertisers are having a tough choice to make. Choose wrong, and it is a multi-million dollar mistake, but choose right, and we'll be talking about it here on the show Monday morning. <laughs> Worth those millions of dollars if we're talking about a Monday morning, right? Yes, Marcelino Benito is connecting the dots on Super Bowl commercials. Companies paying big bucks to air commercials during the Super Bowl are having to grapple with a big question this year. Ignore the pandemic or address it? Let's connect the dots. Paying for commercial time during a Super Bowl is not cheap. This year, CBS is reportedly charging $5.5 million for just 30 seconds of airtime. And while every year that investment is a bit of a gamble, companies are having to grapple with the shadow of coronavirus. According to marketing experts, it comes down to taking a somber approach and reminding everyone of the harsh realities they're trying to escape for a few hours or ignoring it and seeming out of touch with the times. For some brands, the balancing act wasn't worth it this year. A few that normally shell out for Super Bowl commercial time are staying on the sidelines, including Coca-Cola and Hyundai. Anheuser-Busch is playing both sides of the field. For the first time in 37 years, it will not have an iconic ad for the King of Beers, but they will be running a spot for another one of its brands, Bud Light Seltzer Lemonade. With some companies on the injured reserve, there are some rookies in the run Running, mainly businesses that have actually scored during lockdowns. We're talking DoorDash, Chipotle, and even miracle Grow. Because while it might be tough to create the perfect Super Bowl commercial, all those captivated customers are hard to ignore. Connecting the dots, I'm Marcelino Benito, 